Hi everyone and welcome back. So let's take a look on chat sheet for next years, like how we are connecting to the database, how we are writing migration, how we are writing query. So this is how we are getting the database instance. This is how we are creating the table in the migrations, right? Table.increment, table.string, integer, table.boolean, table.json, table.uuid. This is how we are writing a simple select query, select from users where email equal to this. And we are writing a sync await, so this is going to give us the result set. Similarly, the insert. Next users and then insert and pass the whole payload which you want to insert in the user object. Then you can create a seed and all these things. Here, if you want to update, next user, update that record where ID is 135 with this payload. Okay, and you can just do a simple, simple migration. Next migration make, next migration latest and roll back. This too we have tried. Latest will also always check the migration files and it will apply the latest migrations. Okay, the joins, like the, the select where queries, how to do that. So next from books, I mean from the book table, select only these three columns and then the where close, where title equal to this, where title equal to this, or where in ID is in these IDs. So all the SQL queries which, which you can think of with where you can just apply those with these utility methods, dot where, dot where in, dot, dot where not in. So where the ID is not in, one, two, three, get all the, the books, okay? Then where null, updated at is null, where exist, updated at is not null, where between, votes is a integer which is between 1 and 100 okay and you can also write a simple function grouping where function and then it, it is like a custom grouping you are doing and then you can also apply the joins this is important and this is a little bit simple in the next like next user dot join with the context where user dot id is a, a foreign key user dot id is same as the contact dot id Okay, this is a basic join or you can say is contact.id is equal to the user.id or if with, with the different columns you can also apply left join, left outer join, right join, right outer join, full join, cross join, all those things. Okay, so these are all different methods. You can also do the alter table in the, the migrations like, uh, like uh, recently I was stuck while adding the unique key constraint, right? But this is how it is. Table dot rename column, table dot drop column, table dot drop timestamp. Okay, yeah, this was I was talking about, like the constraint. If you wanted to add a unique key constraint, then you can just do table dot unique. Okay, in the email, in the company ID. If you wanted to add a unique key constraint from the particular column, you can say table dot drop unique and pass the pass the same uh, array with the column names. If you wanted to remove the foreign key constraint, then you can just do deeper dot drop uh, for it. Okay, you can actually do the modify and bulk insert bulk update. This is simple update. Next use of this equal to this and do the update. Delete is del, this is the delete, where id equal to two. Okay, you can insert many table dot insert this is insert insert and there is a dot returning where you can pass a trick means after insert update delete i want you to return the whole of record object then the migrations how we are running them uh, next migration latest and you can also pass particular environment in which you wanted to run the the migration so this is very important chat sheet and rest you can come to this next js bags website and can explore how the query builder is actually running. Right next select table books. What it is doing, it is going to give us all the records from the books, right? And then all the particular columns. If you wanted to select only particular set of columns, next got dot columns, select from the books table. So I'm selecting everything next dot select from users. I'm selecting everything from a uh, table next dot select only ID from this particular table. Then we have where close. What we can do inside where you can pass all these things. That means 
this syntax represents and first name is test and last name is user if you wanted to apply or condition then i think you have to add so we're login undefined okay this is the end syntax select star from users where first name is this and last name is this and then there should be a condition yeah here you have to explicitly call or where select uh, star from this where function this dot where id is one or where id is greater than 10 so how it will become select star from users where id equal to one or id which is a column which is greater than 10 or name equal to tester i mean a simple grouped chaining for the or condition uh, next users where column name like this what i'm saying is select star from users where column name like this is the particular expression okay so all these methods are there you wanted to apply join that is also there this is the, the join and then you can have apply left join left join on the accounts and here i'm doing on the account dot id and user dot account id so this is a simple example we'll join like this select start from users left join with accounts where account dot user id is has a join with a user dot id okay right join next dot select from users right join where accounts with the right join with accounts where user dot id is mapped with accounts dot user id then right outer join left outer join cross join and all these joins are available okay and there are some transaction support also available if you really want to do it then you can use next or transaction create a transaction object and you can do everything inside a transaction okay then uh, all the unique operator on delete on update these all these things you can add so rest all these things you can explore like how we are uh, because whatever is the basic things we have already covered the how to write the migration seeders and how to do the simple query and then the last thing is you can also explore the next js with the nest js nest js is a typescript framework i already covered a video maybe in the next video we can just walk i can just walk you through with simple example then you can uh, take any example and can write your own application